Hello, this is Dale Van Curen, Instructional Technology Coach at Waukesha North, and I'd like to show you quickly here how to enable restrictions on a student iPad um, in Waukesha One. I'm going to start at our home screen here, and first going to touch Settings in the middle of the screen. What will pop up is our General tab on the left, which gives us access to a lot of different things that an iPad can do. I scroll down to restrictions and you can see here that they're turned off. When I touch restrictions you'll see the different things that as a parent you would be able to restrict on your son or daughter's school iPad. In fact this goes for any iOS device. If your son or daughter has an iPod, an iPhone, or a home iPad this is able to be used as well. So when I touch restrictions, it'll want me to set a password. And I'll just put something generic in here for us, since you can see it on my video, and then it's going to make me do it again. As a parent, I would keep that password private and not share it with my son or daughter. It's at this point that you can, on this list, it's allowed right now. So for example, I have deleting apps on. If I were to turn deleting apps to off, I slide that over. Uh, when I hit the home button and I go back to my home screen, I touch an app and I hold it and it'll start to wiggle. Normally you would see an app with an X and I would touch it and be able to delete it. It's at this point that I can't. All I can do is touch the app and move it around. I can't delete it. Go back to settings, uh, back to restrictions, it's going to ask for that passcode. So this is a great example of showing you that um, if you keep that passcode secret from your son or daughter, um, they would not be able to get into restrictions and turn that back on. This is my generic password to get me back in. So what you may want to do here, parents, um, is restrict things for your son or daughter. Most important from an instructor's point of view is probably going to be installing apps, deleting apps, in-app purchases, and airdrop. If you were able to turn those things off, you would have your son or daughter would be restricted in what they can and cannot do. For school, you would want to have things like Safari and camera on, but there are, and maybe the iTunes store or iTunes bookstore, but there are other things that you could turn off if you wanted to restrict what your son or daughter's do on their school iPads. Uh, you go through here and, and there are different things in terms of privacy and location services. Okay, you can turn location services on and off if you would like. Go back into the restrictions. Again, uh, you go into these different things. Allowed content. Uh, you go to movies and all movies are allowed. Uh, you can touch don't allow movies on there um, and no movies are able to be downloaded onto the student iPad and that goes here for TV shows, books, all of those different items that can be purchased on an iPad. So go through restrictions, think about what you want your son or daughter to have access to or conversely not have access to um, and they'll be able you'll be able to better control what happens on this device. If you have any questions feel free to call or email uh, Waukesha North and we'll be able to assist you. Thanks. Have a great day.